Hi, in this video we are going to look at the details in a public service announcement and we are going to do that as we practice with a text about sports, an announcement about sports. Before we do that, let me ask you these questions. How do you usually start an essay? When you're writing an essay, when you're writing a paper, how do you usually start? Do you have a system for that? Think about it for a moment. Okay? And also, do you think about your reader when you are writing? When you write, you think about them, who's going to read your paper? Well, apart from your teacher. Do you? All right. Please consider those questions as we read the following text. Read the following text. The opening sentence of an essay is called the hook. Okay, you already had an idea about that. Let's see this a little bit in more detail. Hooks are there to capture the reader's attention so they can decide if they want to continue reading. Hmm, so people read the first sentence and then they decide, do I want to continue reading or not? So it is up to you to make them want to read more, right? The most common types of hooks used are literary quotes, so people start with a quote from a book, for example, questions, mm -hmm. anecdotes, facts or definitions, yes, personal stories, yes, not necessarily your own anecdotes, but stories about people, and statistics. So have you noticed that that's how many people start speaking or writing something? The type of hook chosen will depend on the kind of text you are writing. Yes, for example, questions seeking to touch the audience's emotions are very common in public service announcements. Yes, they want to involve the reader or the listener and that's why they ask them to think about their own uh, situation or they want to get them to feel something and that's something that they try to do with their hook. Okay, let's see if we understood that text. Where can you find a hook in a text? Where? If that's the first thing that they are going to read, it's going to be in the first or first two sentences of a text. Why is a hook important? Why? Because if it is not appealing to the reader, they may not want to read more of your essay and nobody's going to read it. Now, do you remember a hook from a text that you have read in the past? Hmm. It's up to you. Let's see if you remember, but just think about it anyway, because that is important when we are reading a text and especially when we are writing a text. What type of, what type of texts are we focusing on? Public service announcements, right? Now we have an idea about what to think about when we are deciding what is the first sentence in our text. But I would like to focus now, actually, on this. Clarity in the details of a PSA. Clarity. How do we add clarity or how do we know that our public service announcement is clear to the audience? I have some recommendations for you when you write one, when you uh, plan one. Your message is clear to you, not to your audience. What you have in your heart, what you have in your mind is clear to you, but probably not for them. They only have a few seconds to listen to your announcement and with that they should get all the details, all the clarity that you already have. So if you think about that, you know that you have to be very specific in your details, right? Don't assume anything. Don't think, oh, they already know this. I should not say it. No, you should include all the information that they need so that your message is clear. Okay, next. Provide all necessary information for your audience to act. All right, if you want them to do something, give them the directions, give them all the specifics, not just do something if you're not saying spe specifically what you want them to do. Next. 
The audience should understand your message the first time they hear it. Hmm. That means that it has to have details, yes, but we don't need to clutter it with so much information that they have to listen to it one, two, three, four, five times before they, ah, oh, now I get it. No, they have to understand it the first time. Why? Because chances are one person will hear your announcement only once in their life and they should have enough information to understand it and also to act upon it. Okay? Finally, it is your job to be clear, not their job to interpret or fill in missing information. All right, so the responsibility is actually ours. So I hope that helps you or gives you a better idea about how to uh, achieve the clarity that you need for a public service announcement. And I have one little um, detail for you. Uh, when you are considering the details or the details that you are going to include in your announcement, you have to be careful about the length that depends on how much time or how much space you have on the newspaper or on the radio for your announcement. For example, if your announcement is going to last 10 seconds, you can only write 20 to 25 words. If your announcement is going to last 15 seconds, you can only include in your script about 30 to 35 words. If for 20 seconds you have only 40 or 50 words, for 30 seconds you have 60 or 75, and sometimes you have a full minute, but that is up to the station, for example, the radio station that is going to broadcast your announcement, uh, they decide how much time they give you, and based on that, you need to plan carefully so that your announcement is just the right uh, length. All right? Now, paying attention to the details that I just gave you, it's not a an absolute formula, let's say, but paying attention to those details, I would like you to complete this activity. It says, rewrite the following PSA, improving its hook and details, preserving the information in it. Hmm. So I want you to look at this. And if you were to listen to this announcement the only once, the first time you hear it, are you going to understand everything, you know exactly what to do. So I'm going to ask you to please pause my video, complete the activity and see how you can improve, rewrite this announcement. All right. So pause my video, complete the activity now, please. All right. Thank you very much for having taken the time and making the effort to um, fix this. And we are going to um, to improve it a little bit, right? I have a rewrite, let's say, a rewriting of this announcement to provide more details, especially more details. The information is fixed. We cannot be so, so extra, super creative about the hook, but we could use something like this, especially because this announcement is very formal, okay? We could have something like this. Celebrate National Sports Training Month and prevent injuries by following these important tips. Oh, celebrate. Yes, I want to celebrate. Yes, and prevent injuries. Oh, really? Can I be injured? No, I don't want that in my life. So how? By following these important tips. So they're asking me to do something, to something that might be exciting for me, something that might be harmful to prevent something harmful like preventing like injuries, and do something. Okay, do what? Now we have the details. For example, we could say something much more specific than the original by saying, check with your doctor before starting any exercise program. Not just pay a visit to your doctor, because that is very, very general. All right? Instead of using, um, always use good equipment in your training, you could say, Make sure that you use the right equipment. Why? Because we already said before starting any exercise program, just make sure that you use the right equipment. Why don't we say before you start any training or while you're training? Because we have to pay attention to size, to length. We cannot write 200 words. We have to be very specific. OK, 
okay next stretching is very important for you that's okay that's important but if they say stretch before and after your routine it's much more specific okay if we say drink plenty of water water during exercise that could be very general how about stay hydrated oh that is inf important information drink water every 10 to 20 minutes during exercise that's very much more specific and that is much um, useful to me and then it said and now we added and finally instead of just saying always use a professional sports trainer we say get professional help from a sports trainer whenever possible being more realistic you see and this is actually the way most announcements end. This message was brought to you by the National Sports Trainers Association. So they identify themselves and they say who they are and who is interested in your well-being. Okay? Uh, I hope that you liked it. But my emphasis here was especially in being very specific in the details that you provide in your announcement. Okay? So right now I am going to pause my video so that you can listen to the pronunciation of this announcement and so that you can practice your pronunciation. Repeat after them. All right. I'm going to pause my, pause my video now so that you can pronounce. Go ahead, please. Celebrate National Sports Training Month and prevent injuries by following these important tips. Check with your doctor before starting any exercise program. Make sure you use the right equipment. Stretch before and after your routine. Stay hydrated. Drink water every 10 to 20 minutes during exercise. And finally, get professional help from a sports trainer whenever possible. This message was brought to you by the National Sports Trainers Association. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for having pronounced that uh, announcement. And I have a question for you so that you can reflect on it. What could you do after listening to the public service announcement that we worked with, the one about sports? What could you do? Only you decide. Are you going to be more careful with your exercise program? Are you going to see a doctor? Are you going to drink more water? I hope that this is influencing your life in a positive way. And that is actually the purpose of public service announcements that you help people have better lives using the information that you just provided. All right. Thank you very much for your attention and I will see you in the next video.